some of you have hear the term influencer and you start thinking this is a term for young people who do not have a job who just want to sit around and post on social media that aren't real models that aren't real entrepreneurs that are just like come up with some word to make themselves relevant when they aren't doing anything that may be what you think and you're completely correct that is exactly what it is for the vast majority of people i'm i'm what would be called a micro influencer because i don't i don't have millions of followers so i'd be what called a micro influencer but i i don't call myself an influencer to me i'm an entrepreneur i run a seven figure business that comes off of my social media so because of that i'm an i would say i'm an entrepreneur and i'm a coach i don't call myself an influencer now i do have some friends like i would say ty lopez dan bilzerian lindsey payless emily sears those are actual influencers those people have four five six million thirty two million followers on social media, when they do stuff, they can run in massive businesses. Uh, Bilzerian's now the CEO of a publicly traded company because of their social media influence. That's definitely yeah. another thing they can do. But a girl with 100,000 followers can actually make a living now selling like fit tea or pre-workouts or, you know, like workout gear or stuff like that. Sure. So yeah. essentially, right. essentially there was a void and a word needed to be created so that these people who are essentially you know, a lot, most of them do nothing. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Most of them do absolutely nothing. And they, they want to imagine that they're celebrities when they're not. 